Under pressure from the lords of the realm, Lady Regent Robin Flint of the North ended the war in the Westerlands with an honourable but ultimately inconsequential peace treaty. In the Iron Throne, too, peace arrived for the first time in a decade and a half. Lady Jakia, the sixth Archon, defeated and imprisoned Manila Baratheon, while her vessel, Lord Paramount Florent Lannister of the Westerlands, would defeat an invasion by Lady Rhaella Targaryen, thus ending the threat of both pretender houses for the time being. The sixth Archon also managed to finally crush any resistance in the Riverlands, and Lady Paramount Barbara Brecken of the Trident bent the knee to the Iron Throne once again, in 348 AC. An awkward ceremony, since Lady Barbara's husband was none other than King Orton Arryn of Mountain and Vale, her erstwhile liege. Despite the peace, the chaos of the Tarashi Interregnum had been a golden age for slave raiders from the Iron Islands and Myrrh. Raiders had run rampant through the Vale, the Reach and the Stormlands, taking men and women as they pleased, and even capturing prestigious castles such as the Eyrie, Highgarden and Storm's End without any clear military answer. These were dark times for the small folk of Westeros, who longed for the relatively peaceful days of good King Edric in the 310s and early 320s. Lord Roose IV Bolton, meanwhile, was forced to take a step back from court intrigue. He instead threw his boundless energy into honing his skill in melees. Lord Harrion Overton became a friend of Roose after the tense final round of a melee, even joining him as a bodyguard until he was called away to rule his ancestral seat of Overton. But only two men of any importance ever managed to best Lord Roos. The first was Lord Hellas the Terrible, the infamously cruel Lord of Ironwrath. Any duel between these two epic fighters was sure to draw a huge crowd, and when it came down to a tourney in the South Ron style, not Roos's speciality, Hellas managed to unhorse his opponent. Another such tourney, the largest of its kind in living memory, was hosted by Roos at the Dreadfort in 351 AC. Lord Hellas was once again victorious, and Lord Roos, who was intimately aware of the man's skills, won a handsome sum of gold in betting winnings. Even Lord Hellas' streak came to an end, however, when he was bested in 352 AC by Sir Hothor Holt, who went on to defeat Lord Roos as well. Sore but impressed, Roos immediately hired the landless noble as his new bodyguard at the Dreadfort. The court at the Dreadfort, meanwhile, saw a new rising star, Mariah Bolton, the daughter of Donnell Bolton and Marcella Hill, and half-sister to Lord Roos. Some said she was Lady Marcella come again, and that was true when it came to skills of diplomacy and subterfuge, but Lady Mariah's real strength lay in numbers. And so when her half-brother Roos appointed her to replace the late Lord Borman Blackmire as treasurer in 351 AC, Mariah excelled. Her skills did not go unnoticed in Winterfell either, and the young King Donal was soon placed under his aunt's care. Only 17 years of age, Lady Mariah had already become one of the most influential women in the North. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to House Bolton. Welcome back to JGO Gaming and welcome back to your boy Lord Roos IV, who is now grievously scarred from all the melees we've been doing. <coughs> but the reason why we've been doing so many melees is because we cannot really do anything else at the moment. Uh, although I do hope that this claim on the sisters is going to go through at some point. That would be pretty cool. Because I think we can take the Vale quite easily. King Orton has how many troops? 15k. And we have 8k, okay? So it's going to be tricky. But if we have some uh, some good allies, we can have a look at that. Well, yeah, I mean, K the King of the North is our ally. But maybe we should try to find some more allies, actually. So let's see if we can find somebody. Uh, and in that uh, in that way uh, gain an alliance. What's happening to you, my man? Iron Islands again, huh? <laughs> man, it's, it's just devastating. I think I mentioned it in the, the last recap, right? This recap is that slave raiders are having uh, an absolute blast here. It's just insane. King Arion's claim on the Stormlands War. Arion Durandon. Okay. <laughs> the Durandons are back. Is he winning? I mean, the Stormlands is just a mess. It's just... 
every castle has been burned to the ground. It's just, it's, it's insane. But the Durandans, they are the predecessors to the Baratheons, if you guys don't know that. And I guess, the, oh, hmm. I guess, is it, oh, the Durandan is right now already the king of the Stormlands. Is that true? I didn't notice that. Let's have a look at the history. It's been, it's been it's been there for quite a long time. I guess he, I, I guess I just assumed he was a Baratheon because of the sigil. But he's actually a Durandan. Okay, cool. So the Durandans are back in charge. They haven't been the kings of the Stormlands since uh, the death of Argalek the Arrogant, who was killed by Aegon Targaryen, I think, or Baratheon, right? <laughs> Very long time ago. But they're back in charge. Uh, but uh, I'm getting distracted. I should find a good ally. I guess we can't really find anybody all that great to marry. We could marry... Oh, yeah, I, I remember now. <laughs> it's good that I, I spent some more time on this because I remember who we were going to marry. Because we were going to marry... Uh, where is she? Mm -hmm. uh, Me Megella. Megella Targaryen. We wanted to get her over to our court. We're not gonna. That's not going to work, I think, because this, this woman is married to, to the uh, Ma Magister of Kohor. But maybe... Uh, we could maybe try to become her guardian or something. Maybe they will allow that. No, it would be hostage in a foreign power. Yeah, I, I, I would have preferred marrying her to Donal. Is Donal my... Maybe if, if we make Donal our ward. We could try that just, just briefly. We want to make him our, our squire anyway. Let's try that. And then maybe see if we can marry him off to the Targaryen that way. Okay. Donal, my boy. Are you now in my court? Should be, right? Reigning in Winterfell, Winterfell. So maybe we can marry him now to the Targaryen girl. Where is she? Now that he is our, 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 our ward. Magella Targaryen. Arrange betrothal between you and... No, we cannot select King Donal. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we could still marry her to Prince, uh, Prince Rickon. We might be able to convince... Uh, Magella Targaryen of that. Send her a bit of money, maybe? Maybe that'll work? Want to marry Rickon? Nope. What if we send you a bit of money? 200 gold, ouch. Okay, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit much. Hmm. I guess we could try to sway this man. Maybe give him an artifact. Signs of importance? Sure, why not? <laughs> if that makes uh, makes him want to marry, uh, marry the, the Targaryen woman off to us, then I'm... That's well worth it. 27, nice, okay. You wanna marry me? Marry Roos? Yes! <laughs> That's some good diplomacy right there, son. Magella Targaryen. I've decided to accept your betrothal. Nice. I mean, it's, it's not that big of a... of a difference in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in age, I don't think. Six years. Could be worse. Okay, so that's that. We are still the mess with arms. Yeah, we are still trying to become the regent. Maybe now that we are the, the guardian of uh, of the king, that'll work a bit better. Maybe we, we could try to kill the regent, for example. Donner Umber is now the regent. Not just, so it's no longer um, Robin Flint. She's still here. Maybe we, maybe when uh, when Ali switched guardians, it became uh, became a different story. Okay. In that case, we might want to switch ambition again. Um, also, we want still to have kids, though. So I guess uh, I guess family focus for now. Ah, my wife is pregnant. Great. We could use some more sons, wifey. Oh dear. <laughs> was that what uh, one of you guys was commenting? This that the red death was maybe appearing. Mm, where is it here? Great sickness. We have received news of an epidemic in Ashai. The information is vague, but word is people are dying like flies. And the fear of the disease is spreading as fast as the affliction itself. Furthermore, the condition is reported irreversible as well as incurable. And the scattered records of the events are worrisome. With no source of evil revealed, people are turning to their gods and on each other. But to protect from contagion. Many call it a great new sickness. New great sickness. Alright. We'll be fine. It's so far away, guys. <laughs> My wife is feeling somewhat gloomy of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely starting to cause some humoral imbalance. We'll go spend some time with her. Yeah, we like her. Ah, we have a melee at uh, Flint's finger again. 
Yeah, we, we, we can we can go again. It's been a few months. <laughs> now we have a new son, Mark Bolton. I think I like Mark just fine. Yeah, why not? Three sons, that's great. The Bolton line is secure. The line of Ramsey is secure. The line of Donald will no longer uh, trouble us. We could... Um, that's what we could do, I guess. We could marry Mariah off to... Uh, to King Donald once he grows up. I think they would make a great match. And they would unite the two houses, the two, uh, the two lines of uh, Donald and uh, Ramsey. Well, hopefully they would uh, they would sort of end the the feud between those two uh, lines. That would be great. Oh, Hoth or Holt. Okay, so this is I think the finale of the tourney at uh, Flint's Finger. I skipped most of the fights because you know that was basically what the whole of the last episode was. But we're facing Hoth or Holt again. And we are considered a little bit stronger than him, but last time he defeated us. But I think last time we were a little bit wounded. So maybe this time we will be more ready for him. You know, Rickard is being very stubborn when he plays with other children. This will probably help him in life. No, it won't help him in life. Being stubborn is wrong. I attack with speed. Strike. It's all over now. <gasps> we defeated Hother Holt. Ha <laughs> ha! Revenge, my man. We like this guy. He's our bodyguard. I think we train with him, so we kind of know his weak spots now. We defeated him in the uh, in the final melee. I think pretty much th 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 that probably won us the tourney, right? Yeah, glory to me, 25 gold. Nice. <laughs> we didn't even uh, sustain any wounds there. We are really at the peak of uh, of our strength right now. Right now, More of a doer than a thinker. Rickard becomes brave. Rickard will become dull. I should focus on teaching him bravery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rickard is like my spitting image. Although he doesn't have any fighting skill. Forced to train, my man. Training is, ev is ev evidently paying off. Poor fighter. Okay, well, I prefer to be a bit more than that, but uh, what a great fight. Um, King Donald. Can we force you to train already? I don't know why we can't force him. Maybe because he's the king? I don't know. Switch him back over to... Uh, to Mariah for now. Because that is, she's better suited to training him, I think. Uh, but uh, once he gets uh, gets to eleven, we will we will take him uh, back and we will put we will take him as a squire. And Lord Harry and we're fighting again, but he has already been wounded in this tourney, so it should be fine. It's another uh, another famous tourney night where we fought like four times already. Yep, we won. We won the melee again, but this is a smaller melee, so only ten gold. We're winning just melees all over the place. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, uh, Lord Harry. We become close friends with Lord Harry, and I thought we already were friends with him. Maybe not quite, quite yet. But he uh, he's one of our buddies now. We have, we've got a few friends. We're a likable guy. Lord Harrion, Mark Messi, Bonifer Messi. How are they doing? My childhood friends. Mark Messi is married to Elvira Durwell. And Bonifer Messi, he's got, a, he's got no children. He's also not, not married. You want to join my court, my man? Are you already at my court? No, he's in High Garden. Okay, interesting. Mark Messi has a son, Kyle Messi. Okay. We have quite a bit of money right now. Maybe we should consider expanding our, uh, or maybe play building a refuge. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's a good idea probably, because the <laughs> the Red Death is coming, right? The uh, <laughs> the Great Epidemic. Is it anywhere close? Yeah, it's getting here. It's getting here. <laughs> it's already uh, nearing the free cities, so it's coming. Too much eating and too little exercise have caught up with me. I've gained a fat trait. Okay, that's random. Well, I guess my wife is fat. I guess we just ate uh, ate well together. I lose the trait brave. Ouch. Okay. Maybe this is this is the end of the uh, my uh, my melee glory days because we only have eighty five combat strength right now. So our ult is probably stronger than us. We'll go improve my strength. Okay, we will we will do another one. But I think we might not win this one because uh, we've lost quite a bit of uh, combat skill there. We're fat, we're no longer brave, so that's already minus 30. Oh, the um, the uh, the wall is under attack. Yep, we will, uh, we will of course help out. We're always spoiling for a fight, right? What the hell is Forrester? But he is he's not doing very well. Wounded, swollen ankle and old age. So he used to be one of the best fighters in the, in the realm. He defeated us at some point, but I think we should be fine this time. It's funny how it's always the same guys. 
we know them all by now. We've done like a dozen melees. It seems, it seems we've still won this tourney, but I, I think our glory days are over. We still won this one, 25 gold. Good pay to make money, really. Don't be too hard on yourself, my good man. Lambert Lightfoot, don't be too hard on yourself. Ah, Rickard has increased his swordsman skill a little bit. Can we force him to train again? Force trained, character modifier. Will expire in a month. Okay, so we will, we will try again. Maybe, we'll be, maybe we can uh, make him a skilled fighter. When can we grant him a knighthood? 18, okay. So that's, that's a while off still. How is my... Is Don already 11? Not quite. We will uh, we will switch up to uh, to his guardian when he becomes eleven. Wife is pregnant again. See if we'll have another son, maybe a daughter this time. Winter fever has broken out in the Dreadfort. God help us. Winter fever is lo losing this province. We could shut the gates. Is winter fever bad? I think it's like consumption, right? Um, and we might as well shut the gates, right? Why not? Seal it. We ourselves will be fighting uh, in the, in the wall probably, but uh, if, if if we're allowed to lead armies, Harry can lead our, the army, our friend. That's good. We are secluded. Yeah, okay, fine. So we cannot uh, we cannot fight. We're not brave anymore either. That makes some sense, I guess. Uh, Rickard became just very good. Can we train you again? Force train. It's not hiding in the or in seclusion. Okay, let's get out of the out of here then. <laughs> That's not worth it. I still want to train Rick on. Rickard. Force the train. Maybe next time we will prove. Okay, too bad. Are uh, you already 11? Eh, yeah, two months or so. Let's make uh, make you our ward again. Because we can ha we can take you on as a squire, maybe. This time we can force to, uh, force, force train you. Take on King Donald as a squire. Okay, yes. Let's do it. My man, you are my squire right now. We would still like to become regent. I think maybe we will uh, we'll cancel this ambition for now. Become regent again. Uh, become regent. Uh, plot to become regent. Lady Robin is back. Replace Donner and become regent. So we have to. Okay, something is going wrong here. I think. But uh, let, let's uh, let's take advantage of the new regency. See if we can uh, we can become regent this time. Uh, let's see if we can find anybody who wants to, who might want to join us at some point. This man, maybe. Meister Eric, the court tutor. We're fighting a battle here. Oh, maybe that wasn't smart. <laughs> so they were just defeated by... Uh, okay, so we're, yeah, we're, so we're joining the army of the Lord Commander, I think. Sir Leslin of the Night's Watch is leading this army. We will, we will help him out for a while. Oh, they're besieging the Night Fort, but I think we are outnumbering him, outnumbering them. So we should be able to relieve the relieve the Night Fort. If the eye is not being an idiot about it, which they are, it seems. But we still won, I guess. Who died? Chief General. Who was my Chief General? Was it Harian? No, Harian is still here. Let's put him in charge. He's leading the army right now, but that's fine. I see a good fighter, skilled fighter. Yeah, let's uh, let's put him uh, to train children. Worship of Sunderland. Yep. Let's go for the other other half of the island. I was hoping she would uh, she would make a claim on the High Lordship, but I guess we can't be lucky. We can still go for the sisters though. That's probably gonna be the next uh, next uh, target. Oh come on, AI! You idiots! <laughs> you have so many more troops than him. You still lost. I think we will just uh, decouple from you because you're being stupid right now. Oh wait, uh, what I missed was our former master at arms was John Messi. Yeah, he died of winter fever. Oh no, that's so sad. John Messi died of winter fever because we didn't close the gates. I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit bad about that. He was our uh, our dad, basically our guardian for like 15, 20 years, and our our master at arms for a very long time. He finally dies, huh? Well. Out with the old, in with the new, I guess. We have uh, Harrion, our friend, who has replaced him. He's a good replacement, but we're still going to miss our guardian, John. Oh, well. 
what are you gonna do? Let's make uh, oh Hothor hold. Yeah, we can make him the captain of the household guard, of course. King Donald has become a trained fighter. Okay, good. Under my guidance, we should find a good guardian for Rickon as well. He's got struggle focus, so probably we are the best. So we will we will we will become his guardian once uh, Rickard has grown up. We will switch to our uh, our son uh, Rickon. Okay, we 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 have an event to have Master Eric like us a bit more. Maybe now he will want to join our plot. Still not. But almost. Plague is uh, not doing uh, great. But it's not jumped over to uh, Westeros yet. So maybe we'll be uh, maybe we'll be lucky. I remember that from a previous uh, series. Is that the, the plague doesn't always jump over to Westeros. We might get lucky. Although we do have a lot more raiders now. So it's quite easy to catch the plague uh, while you're raiding stuff in Essos. And then uh, carry it over back home. So uh, maybe this time we won't be so lucky. Skilled commander. Ah, oh, man. Ricard, come on, man. That's not great. Ah, he's 18. 18 marshal. It's actually not that bad. Were you again? I forget. Oh, yeah, you're very distant. Uh, he's related to the youngest. So he's, he's a grandchild of Roos. We are a great, great grandchild because Roos just had kids at a very late age. <laughs> Leona Bolton, 43. Roos Bolton uh, died in, at 83, in 8313. So that's like, uh, what, 40 something years ago, 42 years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> she uh, she was born just as uh, Roos died, basically. So that's why this guy's only a grandchild. But he, uh, he you know, he's, he's ambitious. He's brave. He's charitable. He's a well-trained fighter. We could make him our marshal, I guess. Uh, I think Lord, Lord Harrion is also a good marshal. Anything else you're good at, my man? Not really. What about you? Also not really. We can put him in our uh, in our bodyguard. Yeah, here we go. Rickard Bolton. Welcome. We can appoint you a commander as well. I think we will do that actually. Can uh, gather some glory that way. Or we could send him to uh, to make a mercenary company. Is that, uh, is that a thing? Assemble mercenary company. We have already some mercenary bands. Can we disband those? I kind of want uh, want the mercenary band to be led by my uh, my vessel, or my uh, not my vessel, my family member. Dissolve mercenary comp. Oh, replace mercenary captain. Replace with Raya. No, Rickard. Yeah, here he is. Make Rickard the new captain of the Dreadford band. Yes, please. <laughs> so Roderick of the Dreadford, who was leader of the mercenary band for a long time, has been replaced. By Rickard Bolton of the Dreadford Band. Good, that's cool. You can you can go and uh, hire yourself uh, to people. When are you arriving? Thirtieth, uh, ninth moon. Twenty third. Okay, we will wait. Yep. Here we go. Let's join in. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Too late. Let's put in some commanders at least. Yeah, I will spend highly to get Donald the best equipment po possible. Yes, obviously. Obviously, my man. I think we will also switch you back to Mariah for now. Can we grant you a knighthood at some point? Yeah, if he's 18. Which mm -hmm. is a feature of worship of the seven. That's not true. Age is greater or equal. Because so once he's 14, we can uh, make him a knight anyway. So let's switch him back to uh, Mariah for now. Switching, uh, switching uh, guardians a lot. I hope that doesn't matter so much. But I think uh, he's got a he's got an education that would benefit from Mariah more than from us. So Mariah is uh, is more talented in uh, in the in the in the art of numbers. Oh damn! <laughs> what are you doing, guys? Constant fights and vicious pranks. My two children, Rickon and Donal, could just never seem to get along. But my efforts to instill mutual love and friend and respect have finally borne fruit. This friendship will serve them well when I'm gone. Oh yeah, yeah, it will. You AI, what the hell are you doing, man? You guys suck at this. You have so many more troops than him, and yet you let him defeat you. A bunch of idiots. Queen of Quinn's Roses declared Quinn's Conquest of the Neck on King Donald of the North. Mm, is that a big army? 10k. We could ask, uh, we could help our, uh, our son out with that. Don't attack me, man. Don't do it. 
You prick. You're smashing all my... Well, they're my vessels left, so I don't really care, to be honest. It's actually better, probably. Let's just, uh, just, let's just lower them, because my vessels are now super weak. <laughs> we have a way stronger army than they do. Okay, 5,000 troops. Here they are, 3,000 people besieging Winterfell. Let's get after them. Come on, Joran. This is the Baratheon song again. It's so goddamn loud. Let's turn that down, way down. My son Donald Bolton owes me gold. That house Bolton uh, has lent him. It's time that he paid. Eh, I can wait for now. He, he doesn't have any money. He's fighting a war. Come on, catch him. Catch them. Yep, we're catching them. Pay the money. I would like to remind you of the gold that the Kingdom of the North owes my house. Let's pay him some interest again. I mean, we're going to play as Dono at some point anyway, so we have to repay these. Uh, we have to sort of extend uh, his credit a bit. That reminds me, can we... Can we change character? That's the thing that the Boltons can do, right? Yeah. King Donald's rank is lower than Lord. Okay, too bad. He can't do it, I guess. Um, let's talk strategy. Rooms of Fire and Blood. Master Dagar C. St Stagon. Now rides Grimax into battle. Who's Grimax? Serion's kid. Okay, so we have quite a few dragons already. Most of them, I think, are not... Oh, this is... <gasps> This is my Magella Targaryen is riding Firestorm, so she 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 has a dragon. It's quite a small dragon. But it's still a goddamn dragon. So we're gonna have a dragon in our family. Rickon is gonna be a dragon rider. Damn, <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty insane. Okay, who's riding for Serion? Yeah, Donald Rivers is riding for Serion. Who's riding Rhaegar? Rayella, yep. She's still in prison. My Archon uh Flemeth the Arrogant. Oh, that's the 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 the, uh, the Targaryen guy. We could we could try to rescue her. But I kind of prefer to uh, try and become regent. Is uh, is he joining me, Master Eric? So we're fighting Gwyn's host here. Seem to be winning. Is this man already joined our? Yeah. So I, I think now we should be able to. Now we need to be at peace. Jubal Donner for regency. I I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Challenge is uh, is issued. I kind of want to do that, but we have to be at peace. What is this? Or oh, this is still the invasion of the Night's Watch. Is, um, is Donnell himself joining that? No. So if we... I, I don't know if, if we will win this war, if that will count as peace or not. Or if we really have to win the uh, <laughs> the war in the north for uh, for the Night's Watch. That would suck a bit. Come on, join me, man. <laughs> oh, too late. We lost so many troops there. That's a shame. Let's just uh, let's just join our legion's forces. I think that's probably smart. Rickon finally trained up a bit. We should uh, we should switch to him actually, because uh, Rickard is now uh, is now uh, of age. So we can switch to Rickon as our uh, as, as, as his guardian. Because we are the perfect guardian for him. Because he is rowdy. Take him as a squire. Yes. Of course, train him. Nope, but uh, one point in each week is also not bad. My son Donald does his homework and is always in time for his lessons. He is a good mentor. Diligent. Diligence is good. Yep. Donald is turning out uh, quite okay. I thought uh, I thought I switched to... I switched you to Mariah, though. I still think Mariah is a better choice for you. Let's try again. See if we can help these idiots out in the Night's Watch. We should have won that war easily. <laughs> My great aunt Leona died. Okay, the last child of Roos, probably. No, Olena is still alive. 47 of winter fever. Okay. No, you idiots, what are you doing? <sighs> Fucking AI, man. Two is two chip for Prince Rickon. Great. You fucking idiots. <laughs> AI is so stupid. Why, why would they attack? They just wait for me, man. I'm coming down with like 5,000 troops. Just wait. Okay, we're intercepting them here. I hope we win this, though. <laughs> it's pretty close. Oh, Stannis Bretian died finally. No, he's still alive. <laughs> but Prince Bormund died. Bormund of the Iron Throne died. Comatose in bed. Even though he was favored by Rillo, I didn't even notice that. So Bormund is dead, finally. I say finally. I mean, this is the gra great... No, the... Yeah, the great... This is the grandchild of Stannis we're talking about. And Stannis is still alive. <laughs> So uh, who's now the rightful king of the Iron Throne? No, that's 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 a question that 
Stannis will have some trouble answering, I guess. Well, I mean, he, he, he won't have some... Oh, he's, he's actually Lord of Dragonstone again. <laughs> Stannis is back, baby. <laughs> Age 93. <laughs> he's back in the saddle. He's back to be Lord of Dragonstone. Is he fighting a war? If he would, if he, if he goes, if he's going to be king, that would be awesome. Dragonstone. What, what kind of land do you hold then? What type of Sweetport Sound? Where's that? Where's Sweetport Sound? Somewhere here? Oh, here. So you hold this tiny island still. Come on, Sanders, we're <laughs> rooting for you. <laughs> Can't believe he's still alive. Age 93. <laughs> Oh man, I hope he, he runs for uh, intimidating. Yeah, I can say that again. The guy's 93. He looks no, not a day over 50. <laughs> he looks younger than his grandson, <laughs> which is an achievement. Who uh, who's inherited his claim to the Iron Throne? Okay, Alison Redwine, Hector Waters, and Mary Waters. Mm, Manila Brethian is also dead. We had it on the orders of Lady Jerkia. She didn't uh, pass on her claim to the Iron Throne, it seems. So who are now still the claimants? Still quite a few people, I think. But maybe not quite as many as, uh, as they used to be. Serena Fat Lion, yep. Martel, Martel. <laughs> we had a Targaryen, obviously. Stannis Baratheon, yep. Stannis Baratheon is the last Baratheon with a claim. Damn. <laughs> Let's hope he, uh, he gets it. <laughs> that would be pretty great. 93-year-old Stannis. I guess we're losing this. Yep. <sighs> this is a very annoying war. I'm really sick of it. I'm not really doing the best I can with it, but still. Yeah, this time we beat him, it seems. We captured the Captain of the Nightmares. Okay, so that, that's it then, I think. That's the, that's the end of the war. That's good. Finally, took way too long. Uh, the, how about you be at my man? Get out of here. I'm sick of you. Come on, you won the war. Win the war, please. Mr. Nice Watch, sir. You won the war. Don't attack. Oh, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, he won. Okay. I was almost thinking he would lose. Is the guy still in my dungeon? No, he's not. We can now uh, duel the guy for the Regency, right? Duel Donner for the Regency. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Will we become Regent? It would be pretty great. It's uh, not really worth much, because uh, Donald will be of age soon. I think it will just play until he becomes of age, so I think this will once again be quite a long episode. Jewel, Donner for the Regency, let's go. We are, we, who are we fighting? I didn't even check. We should win, right? We have 85 personal combat skill. Donald Umbers, oh, okay, well, he's 70. Okay. <laughs> we might die here, but uh, we, we, we might win. He's a poor fighter. He's 70 just because he's so ruthless, yeah. And he's got some good, some good, uh, some good traits uh, besides that. Okay, Don Donner, you want to fight me for the Regency, my man? Accepted your terms. Okay, Donner Umbra has accepted your terms. As dawn breaks, uh, you meet on a field just outside Winterfell. The mist still lies thick on the ground, and the brilliance of the early morning sun is reflected in the shining steel of your weapons and armor. It is a good day to die. Come on, then, let us settle this. You and Donner's fight circle will show that tense of focus. This is. We were born and bred to do this, man. We've, we've, we've fought, fought so many of these. I, like, I skipped like half of them. You didn't even see half of them. <laughs> we fought so many melees. I think it must have been like 50 at least. Okay, no, not, not 50 melees, 50 jewels like this. One mistake is all you'll get. He appears panicked. You launch a frenzy to furious attack on Donner, immediately setting him on the back foot. He appears panicked by this, allowing you an opening. Strike! It's all over now. Oh, you strike and manage to get the better of Donner, but do not defeat him outright. He rises to his feet. And ready his dagger once again. He's got a black eye. Why don't you just die? Why don't you just die? No one mistake is all you'll get. Strike. It's all over now. Yield, yield. Uh, are we going to kill him? No. No, we, 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 will, we will accept uh, his defeat. We will accept his defeat. And uh, hopefully he will give us the regency. The blood of your opponent seems to the ground as you lean on your sword to catch your breath. It was a brief and violent struggle. But the poor fool lies maimed at your feet, clinging pitifully to life. The day is yours. Ah, that's a bit, a bit overreacting. He's got a swollen wrist and a black eye. He's not, he's not dying. Come on, man. Be gone from my sight. You are not fit to serve the king. Only one of us can leave this field alive, friend. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We will spare him. 
He's pretty good uh, diplomat anyway. Are we now the regent to our son? Yes. Ah, <laughs> finally. Only took us 14 years, but we are the regent of the north. Okay, awesome. I've recently found myself becoming good friends with Donner. Ah, <laughs> I've become friends with everybody. I, uh, I murder. <laughs> I nearly murder. We have another friend, Donner Bolton. I mean, he's a fantastic diplomat. You want to join my court, my man? No, no he's, I guess, yeah, he's, he's Master of Laws of the North. So he's already on my... Uh, he's already uh, near... He's already in the court of Donald. So I can imagine he doesn't want to move to the Dreadfort. And that's fine. He can be the uh, Master of Laws of the Realm. A harsh winter in Widow's Watch. Okay, so the winter has never been worse than it is now. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's stay low for a while. Mariah smiles at you. My liege, I noticed your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. I believe that to make things interesting, one must be introduced to the subject where it is directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you would like to join me tomorrow on a full day's work? Yeah, sure. Ooh, okay. Mariah starts the day off collecting taxes. Some people frown and complain when they give away their earnings. Mariah calmly explains why taxes are collected and manages to appease the complainers. Earning trust is earning gold. Maybe we could squeeze them for some more. Earning trust is earning gold. That's uh, something uh, Bruce would say, I think. Uh, today, Mariah brings you to the nearest construction site to evaluate progress. Mariah notices that the builders are lagging behind the agreed schedule and proceeds to question them. The builders complain about the weather and want more to pay, more pay to cover the delays. Mariah looks over your way, awaiting a response. I mean, it's a harsh winter, right? Or is it? Harsh winter, yeah, so I think it's a pretty fair complaint. <laughs> we'll hold our end of the deal when you hold yours. I guess one cannot predict the weather. Ancient rate trusting. Clear the side, you will never work again. I guess so, one cannot predict the weather. Am I trusting? No. A friend has come to visit Mariah this evening. The three of you have a good time discussing your experiences over a fine evening meal. The visitor nods at you, saying, How lucky you are, Mariah, to have a leash that understands your work. This cooperation should benefit the both of you. It wasn't for me, it feels like stealing, Agamon man. I hated it, we should just kill the peasants and take their money. <laughs> I don't know what this means, it wasn't for me, it feels like stealing. Why can't I be nice? Why don't I have a nice option? I want to be nice. <laughs> Here he is, Donald. He's almost 16. He's still timid though. Charitable, diligent, kind. And he's a squire. Let's see what he becomes. He's got... Martial focus, does he? Since when? Who, who picked that for him? Damn it, Mariah. <laughs> that was not my plan. I mean, I guess we can switch over to his guardian for the last few seconds if he's got really got a martial focus. Not really what I had in mind for him. But, okay. Well, Rooster Ford, for the good services which you have rendered to the north, I hereby grant you a prized heirloom of House Bolton. I trust you will continue to serve with loyalty. Blackfish's armor. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Blackfish's armor. Distinctive armor of Brynden Tully. Suit of black skills adorned with a black trout on the chest. Prism combat skill plus 10. Moral damage plus 2.5. Ah, sure, why not? Oh yeah, Icebreaker. We, we would rename that, right? I think the, 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 the comment with the most upvotes was uh, Skull Smasher. So we will do that. I think it's a pretty good Bolton name anyway. Oh, what's happened? The villain false knight, Lord Alexander Sol, has sent ravens to all lords of the realm, accusing me of tyranny. He alleges that I have upset the balance of power in the realm by not relinquishing control of the high lordship of the broken branch to one of my vessels. He's also threatening war to accomplish the same through force of arms. What? You prick. You prick. It's a slight on my honor. It, it is indeed. It is indeed. Can we declare war on him? We have raised army leverage, have we? Uh, oh yeah, we have. Okay. <laughs> this is a slight on my honor, my man. In fact, press all claims. Screw you. We are still the regent, so we sh really should do it now. <laughs> Raise everybody. It may be winter, but we cannot let this pass, man. We cannot let this 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 dishonor pass. We have to be quick, though, because uh, Dono is coming of age in. Uh, in like six months and he might stop us. We know FK, that 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 should be enough. Hothor, you can lead the uh, lead the army. Joron, let's go. Let's go to White Knife. And Harry and Overton went missing, and after a frantic search by his guard, it seems as if he had simply vanished to thin air. Not so apparently, it turns out he was forcibly abducted by agents of Lord Elric of Shadowmoor. Okay. With Elric of Shadowmoor. 
Where are you? The sheep shagger of Shadowmoor. Screw you, man. Screw you. You you, uh, you imprisoned my friend, you prick. We are regents, so we, we can try to free our friend, right? To rescue from captivity, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but we will have to focus on this war for now. Hopefully we can charge his, uh, his castle. Oh, we become friends with the king. Nice. Lord Roos and King Donald become close friends. Nice. That's great, actually. King Donald seems to be very interested in garments. Some of the courtiers are wearing, yet not in the usual lustful way. King Donald is also interested in the fabrics themselves, just not just what's underneath them. Yeah, that's harmless. Groomed is actually pretty good. Yeah, you get uh, attraction opinion and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, fine. You can be groomed. Oh, he's way changed clothes. <laughs> he's turning out to be a pretty nice character. I mean, he's not, he's not perfect, but uh, he's pretty, pretty nice. Well, we have five months to finish this war, guys. Come on, quickly. Devastating winter, I don't care. Charge the place, uh, Joram. Thank you. Where's his army? Oh, it's moving down there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we, should, uh, we should follow him, maybe. We need an organizer, man. Chief General. Oh, Hotor. We should, we should find an organizer, I think. So we really need to chase this guy down quickly. Tuckwell, Stormlander. Sure. Get over here, you. We want to make you our commander. Uh, Reach a council has been concerned to vote on the dispute that has arisen between two vessels of King Donal. Uh, Lady Bethany Riswell has been accused of invading Lord Alexander Saul's lands. Okay, so that is not us, or is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> it, 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 it's this guy, but it's a different war that he's fighting, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> retaliation. Okay. Yes, I vote to send the command. No, no, no. I vote against this motion. Vote on whether to issue a command to Lady Bethany to seize her aggression. No, don't seize your aggression. We want to, we, we, we want them to be distracted. This man joined me. Uh, the, the vote on whether to command Bethany Riswell to enter war against Lord Alexander Saw has been taken. Okay. And they they voted uh, they voted for it still. That's not great. Move it locked intercept. It should be the last battle of the war. His Lordship of White Knife, Kane's Lordship of White Harbor. Great, yes. We won. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> we did it just before the majority of King Donald. We managed to uh, to finally uh, grab <laughs> these two counties. So we are now very strong. Is this the guy who we took it from? Yeah, so he hates me. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna have to suck it up. So the Dreadfort has expanded yet again. We now hold all the de jure uh, duchies that we want to become uh, ki uh, king, red king. So uh, maybe that is maybe that goal has now been achieved. Maybe our next goal is going to be to become king of the north uh, itself. I think we will we will keep playing until our son has come of age. I think that would be a good place to end it. I think that would be a pretty damn long, <laughs> long episode anyway. So uh, yes, let's see. Uh, just a few more months. When are you uh, growing up? I hope you... Okay, so in 10 days. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dutiful commander, damn. <laughs> That's not great. We fulfilled our ambition to groom an heir, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Some, somehow he switched to uh, to a martial focus. I think probably Mariah did that. But, uh, yeah, he wasn't really trained for that. Maybe we should have let him uh, remain under, uh, under Mariah. Oh, well. It's fine, I guess. He's uh, he's more of a diplomat than a marshal. But uh, I think if we pick war focus, then uh, we should be fine. We can uh, we can work this up a bit. So King Donal has grown up. He is our friend. We were his regent until quite recently, but not anymore. Uh, we have groomed an heir. Uh, we have done what it took to get the boulders to the top and to keep our son in the saddle. So uh, yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching once again. Let's see where we take the Bolton Realm next time. Let's see how long uh, Lord Roos will still reign. Let's see if he will die in glorious battle as he chooses or if he will die uh, of old age later. Let's see if uh, Lord Sanus Baratheon is, uh, is up to anything. <laughs> it is 95 years of age. <coughs> a lot of things to see still, a lot of things to do. Uh, but uh, that's all for next episode. Meantime, thank you guys for watching. Remember, please to subscribe as well. Uh, I, I noticed that still quite a few of my viewers are not subscribed. And, uh, you know, please do that. Because uh, it means a lot. And uh, it, it also helps the YouTube algorithm uh, to push my videos to the top. And I know that at least some of you 
have discovered my videos through YouTube, recommend YouTube recommendations. So I do know that uh, the increasing views of the last few months have really helped. <coughs> and the likes and the comments and also the subscriptions. So do consider doing that. I won't uh, remind you of it every time. I think it's uh, pretty annoying when uh, YouTubers do that. So, you know, but just this one time I will do. This is episode, what, 14 of the series. So I think I'm entitled to, that, to do that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.